and that means that I often get to teach the introductory women's studies class, which on campus we call Women in Society. So what we're looking at is not just the role of women and the issues of feminism, but we're also looking at gender. Um, so it's a really quite interesting opportunity to, to talk about things that are not necessarily disciplinary specific, but focused on women and women's lives. Is there something that we can say is something that women as a total group should have, should be able to have, right, or should, or is there a way that we should all be able to be? Right? And one of the ways that we're going to be getting at this is by looking at two pretty important documents. The first is the Declaration of Sentiments, which was the first original statement of women's rights considered equal. And so it really was just, it was a declaration made by men for men. And so this, in a sense, is like women coming back at them and saying, okay, well, this is it's what I think is really interesting is that when, when they first wrote the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, they, they didn't specify that the word man meant only man. Right? It was actually a later amendment that specifically put the word man. It's, really, it's been very eye-opening. I've never really thought about women's issues in detail before. I, it was always aware that there's still some social inequality, but I never the other really document we're really talking about today is the, um, the founding documents for the National Organization for Women. How the first document tries to go really subtle, subtleties and delicately around the issue, well this is just straight to the face, like, this is so aggressive, we need to take action now, we cannot stand this anymore, like it's much more, I feel also does represent the change of women's attitudes from this very passive, to a much more dominant role, like, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm going to rebel against it, and this has to happen Societal's approach now. to how women are portrayed, what they are, how they should be or not. Um, and I find very interesting to see this from an international student perspective. Because, like, it's weird for me, and it's already... I clearly can see different trends on the way women are portrayed in this society, in the American society. Um, and I get to also correlate that to what I see from Women my college culture. is the first women's college that was founded on the idea that women should be able to do the same kind of intellectual coursework that men should be able to do. And this is a really unique place because of it. We talked about in class before, at this time, they believed that men and women were incredibly biologically different. That's why also the founding of this college was so radical, right? Because they didn't believe, most of them, that women could actually college think rationally. And, um, it's still, even though it's um, co-ed now, it's still really important for women to learn about their own rights and their own passion for feminist movement, even if they don't consider themselves a feminist. It's not about labeling yourself, it's about having that passion to get what you want.